Welcome to uh, another God Sabbath day. Welcome to 2018. Uh, all we have to do is give thanks to the Lord. Last Sabbath was 2017. And we bid you farewell on 2017. And we said towards the end, the conclusion of the impartation of the Word of God, we'll see you in 2018. And it just so happened, it's just the next Sabbath. Kito wa mai bagabino pinagati ko kapag mo tapik ka muniyan na ronong dolo tin ka bitu. Kito wa ngay kati ko ni sa mai o titi ko na nabitum beri sa na sa na bunaw sa na biba buli di. Dana ngay birong tin tomo talen na tin ka na ronong dolo tin ka walu sa iko ay day day. So just last Sabbath, six days later, uh, it's 2018. So welcome, greetings across the globe, around the globe. Thank you for those who are watching the DVD. Another shipment coming next week. Uh, it'll get you. It'll get to you in time. All uh, we usually say: don't be double-minded about this truth. Okay? This is your your passport to God's kingdom, according to Him, according to the White Throne, not from us, not from the ministry, according to Him, the God of Gods and Lord of Lords and King of Kings that this is the only passport to, to his New Jerusalem. All right, let's get into the, the Word of God from this Bible, okay, from the white throne to us, to our mouth, and to your ears. Okay. It's from the white throne. It origi originates from there. We are not making up any stories. It's from the white throne. Because if you think we are making up the stories, will face him on judgment day. Because the judge designates, this is uh, his words, okay, to prepare you from the handbook and all the love letters, this handbook to prepare us for inheriting his kingdom. We said goodbye uh, last Sabbath, 2017, that was on Revelation chapter 16. The wrath of God Okay, the wrath of God that was that's going to pour out into the world. Keto ama iba ka mo de tiko and iba ka takila na kano wasi tinka ono na nono dumur na kalo orto na yang ilo siyito orto sa na orto na sobra ka iburbura. One thing that we we said for you people not to get mixed up. This is not judgment day. This is tribulation. Gonna be iba ka na rota kila pa na ako iburbura. Okay, Muni, okay, Muni, ni Raydi Auchumai, or Tona Leoni Ministry, or to Santa Michigo, Mertona Vibuke. The members of the ministry are here to assist me in, um, in, um, in delivering uh, the Word of God. So, go to the people who are in the house, 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 who are in the and only in a city so tough, but a people are rotting. The Kawala go with the wrong and a wall at Tambu, the way to put it to make it, and I was a worry. Balletta, they wall at Tambu. This is King James Version. Or it's, you know, we teach from here because of its originality. A seven in Duana Kaya Kaikina, Monina Kaw, and Dona Kumkum, the first rapture. No, a seven. Balletta, listen to me. Kaya Kana no Walilo. I don't care who delivering that. And that is not from the throne. God is in Ilakumai, my buana kalo. That comes from the devil because a false prophet is delivering that. The Samai Vitalanuta Kodin, a false prophet, is a slave of a sin. The false prophet is a slave of Satan. Ketukuna Tigokoi and your Kemoni on in a cow before the tribulation. I am so sorry. That will never happen. Never, ever, ever think that an undo and a rapture before tribulation. My Bible doesn't say so. But I just love to know if anyone dispute of what I'm saying, I would love to see what Bible you are reading. Glory, hallelujah. Maybe we are missing out. Maybe we are missing out on the truth, but I doubt it very much. I doubt it very much. 
the, the Holy Spirit would have revealed to us that we are missing out. But he hasn't and he will not. Because nothing else but the truth is imparted from this pulpit. Glory, hallelujah. Amen. So, I'll do just a little bit recap here. I'll just do a little bit recap. For you to remember, this is the first Sabbath of 2018. This very long journey to the end of 2018. And we will be greeting you on the first Sabbath of 2019. Okay? So, I'll just go back. I'll just pick a couple of uh, scriptures to share with you. Au natomika na erua. Erua beta setolu na yatu wasango monika kune mwile daba as you take your journey in 2018. One is verse 8. And the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was and the power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. Rongote ba binaka keto sa may tugo na keto na may tugo na talo. Ni sa kada turang ng Jesus may tugo ba yao na nung gusto ng tabu? Kaya ko sa kaya keto na lahok ngan yung matay ni sa ni weekend na Sunday. Turang ng Jesus. Ngay dun ro kaya ko ay because I'm a jealous God. So one of the angels, one of the angels in verse 8, which is the fourth angel, gay so bao ko ay nadun rikalo kina mata ni sina, gay lang may kina na yame yame ni buka, and gay kama na sa mata, and gay ingesa, the numatik, ay ko sa nibi ang ingesa, but the nyong ingesa sa nadi mate, the numatik ko ya, as you walk on this journey from 2018, you don't believe in God's seventh day. You do not believe, you don't take the Decalogue on board. Why? Because of Sunday worship. And that is on the verse 8. And the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. to be 
been left here. But the day the devil gave us so so. We want all of us to go there. Glory, hallelujah. Wa maluma lumu taka na elomo. Kere kere sanga valevo. Okay, on, on verse 12, the sixth angel poured out his file upon the great river, Euphrates, and then dried up. Kila, meta reina manda na itamba ni river Euphrates this time, as I speak. Sabang lolo, mana kena rira, ni sama malamai, it's a sign of his coming back, the king of the east. Because it's plural in here, etu kuna chikubango, na verse 12, the kings, to make way of the kings of the east, might be prepared. So last Sabbath, what we have imparted from here, there was one king already, a dried up king, uh, Euphrates, and that was King Cyrus of Persia. So they overthrew the leadership in Babylon, so the people of God can be set free. So, and that came to pass in the rebuilding of the temple of Jerusalem. Why that story came up? Because of verse 12, the kings of the east. So they were plural, not singular, plural. So that was one king of the east. And we're waiting for the God of gods and Lord of lords and king of kings. Amen. So, Euphrates in the news, we parted in part last week. It's drying up, drying up. It's dry, like a dry land now. Like a dry land, some part of it. And the news presenter said, is this about the Revelation, chapter 16? Even the presenter, he knew about it. This, is this the sign of the second coming? The flood, the pestilence, the cyclone, the earthquake and everything. And the river, Euphrates, chapter 16, it's pointing to it. That is a sign of the second coming. Okay, in verse 13. And I saw three unclean spirits, like frog, that come out from the mouth of the dragon. That's a snake. Why we bring this for you? Walking on this long journey in 2018. Oh, okay. Hey, that's happening. Okay, the dragon is a snake. Oh, okay, this sign. Okay, the beast. Okay, the Roman Catholic uh, Church system. What we said was... And also we bring we brought the Bible verse, John 10. John 10, 16. And the way my sheep are in out there. They are out there, though out there. And he said, I'm paraphrasing, there is a time that will come. I will bring them into this fold uh, to be one fold and one shepherd. Amen. What I was saying, where can I be Thank you. 
it will open and close and for that book to rise, that book will rise and they will be convinced that's the power of God. So I spoke, I speak for myself because I was thinking, I said, maybe that's what's happening now. And now the Bible says so. The Bible says it about the miracle that's been performed by the people. That's why it's in here. And that's in verse 14. For they are the spirits of the devil working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and for the whole world to gather them to a battle that the battle that great day of God Almighty. We are walking into it right now. Okay, you have heard it, but it's an opening of this um, preaching and teaching impartation today that Lord Jesus said, I'll come like a thief. He will come like a thief. Why he has to come like a thief? To come and defend his children who are so loyal to him. Uh, they take on board the Ten Commandments and they worship on Sabbath day. What we said last week was, when the beast, when the beast, this system here, the Roman Catholic system, when they do the negotiating the head of states, this to be done to the children of God because they worship on Saturday. They don't worship on Sunday. Heaven at the same time are preparing. Remember what we said last Sabbath? <coughs> the one who sits on the white horse and we're going to hear about him today. And that is our God of gods and Lord of lords and King of kings. He's going to come in his glory of perfection to defend his children. Just remember what they say in Revelation 13. They're going to instigate a law. For you people listening, if a sign to be stamped or tattooed on any part of your body, refuse it. Please, no. But I know because you won't have access into buying. You won't have access into other things. Maybe electricity. Because you won't be able to pay your light bill. Even the water bill. Because you won't have access to it. Just remember. When Lord Jesus moved Egypt. His people were taken aside to Goshen. In Goshen they have their water supply. They have their light. They have their everything. They have their food. But in here the angel will turn all drinking water. It says here. And the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and fountains of water, and they became blood. The people won't be able to drink, because that's the wrath of God. But you will have your fresh drinking water, your food, the holy food and the holy water will be given to you. When other churches here are thinking of the rapture to go up, we don't worry about that. For those who accept the Decalogue and worship God on Sabbath day, don't worry about that. Let them talk about the rapture. There is no way going anywhere. There's no going anywhere because my Bible doesn't say. There is no triple A, there is no rapture. But only the children of God that accepted the Decalogue and replied to Lord Jesus, if you love me, keep my commandment and of course and worship him on his seventh day. Remember the seventh day and keep it holy. These are the people who will be protected by the Jerubims before this tribulation. Amen. Brace to his hands. Kela nungo masula kike muni o masula kike ito kama gato na mchezo mendo to maina lina muni. Mike me mita uta ureke na mike me ambe batati koke kike muni. Because the difficult times is in front of us. Difficult times. We are here enjoying ourselves. We're doing our work. We get our money. We buy that. We're happy here. The people who will be instigating the Sunday law are not resting day and night. They want to do things to spite the children of God. There won't be any going to school. Because if they found out in school, because the devil will take over. First take over the pulpit. In many churches, the devil is in charge of the pulpit. Because there is no truth imparted from the pulpit. Any pulpit that imparts the, the Decalogue and the Sunday the Sabbath worship, this is God's. It's anointed by God. Any pulpit, if you listen to me, your head of churches, your pulpit, the Decalogue is not imparted from there. In the Sunday worship, the devil has taken over your pulpit. You are just there as his slave. If you don't like it, you know who I am. Contact me. How do I know? And I'll tell you. Okay. 
Let's move on. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is that watcheth we have. We have to be vigilant. That's a word. Mentayan rova. Mentayan rova tiko. Line line the Facebook. Sa ko mata the Facebook. Because the time is spent on Facebook, that's the time you should be spending with God. What's that tiko? Why? Because Facebook won't help you. Nisaya do may nakaw na dere. Garaw na tiko. Your friends will be your enemy. The other one will say, yeah, they go to church on Sabbath day. When the people will they do a survey. Do you know anybody that go to church on Saturday? Yes, they'll point. Your friends will point. Yes, that family, that family, that couple. Just remember that. So we have to lessen the time that we spend with Facebook more to God. Please, I'm, I'm pleading. So he said he will come like a thief. That's in verse 15, uh, Revelation 16. Na iba kata kila na kena wasi tirka ano na tiki na tirka lima. Gato kuna kina ukoya and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. The people who won't be prepared. That's this is what it means. The people who won't be prepared. You know, the people who will be so much in love with the world and the man on the white horse arrived. So you will be naked. You will be seen as naked because there is no sign of God on you. We, the ones accepting the Decalogue, the Decalogue and we worship on seventh day, we always say you break one, you break all. You break. It doesn't mean that you, you inherit the kingdom. No. It is ten. It is ten commandments. When God will see you spend more time in Facebook, if your name is in the book of life, it will be erased less than a second. So, he is a jealous God. Your time, your time with God is very important. It says here that you will be naked of all the good things that God is going to prepare for his children. Oi kono lu vale tu ke nana sana beko. Sana di tu ni lu vale lu vale di na sana. Ona pa gai shuru tiko. Ye na be mai uku kuta gini kalo we na sana di tiko beko. You'll be naked of all that. Ona sana. So that's why we're bringing it up. Me not the year rang in 2018. We equipped ourselves as we walk in 2018. It's such a long journey in the rhythm and in the 27th from the first seven to last, the last seven in December. It is quite a long journey. So what all we have to do, brace and his hands. Okay, so let's move on. So, verse 16. And he gathered them together, it says here, and he gathered them together into a place called in Hebrew tongue, Amagidon. Amagidon. This is, they show the picture of Amagidon. This is where the battlefield, the evil and the good. And I believe the, the very handsome man that will come in his white horse, he will go direct to Amagidon. Listen to the seventh angel. Okay, so this is where the, the members of the ministry will come in. So I just want to remind us, for the people who are sitting in for the first time, listening to us, the seven vials, remember, remember this, the seven vials that are full of God's wrath that pour out to the world for the haters and the breakers of what's behind me, the Decalogue. Those who hate the Decalogue, they don't want to take it on board. They don't want to remember the seventh day. They break this, this all these seven vials. Na bindi ko so lelevu, na kama ina yame meni mata ni singa, sena ni rau ni rangunu, na waisa muki menra. Erua na matangali, there are two types of blood sin. One is a blood of a dead man, and one is blood, blood. The Bible says. Sa sin rau kina ni rangunu. The holy water and of course the holy food. Glory, hallelujah. So please, commandment keepers, revelation. We'll read, we'll hear that in English and we'll hear the Fijian translation. And that is chapter 16, verse 17. Two, three. And the seven angel pour out his vial into the air, and there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne, saying, It is done. 
kene kavitu na ngilusi sa sobaraka na nona mbilo na balawa asa rongo mai nando molibu mana wali lutu mai loma langi mai nai tiku tiku boka turanga asa kaya sa vaka oti amen sa vaka oti sa vaka oti that's obedience from the seven angels sa vaka oti that's obedience from the seven angels And it says in 17, the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air. Goodness me, when it's to the air, the air becomes poisonous. Merda de mu ma o ira na sanga ni bina katamo, o ira na sanga ni bina kata na nona singa tamu. Kenda tau tau lai tunga ina bano anda de ngutu ngake na just like now, de de ngutu. God will shut out all those things to the people that disobey Him. This is a heavy duty. It's a heavy duty thing. Oh no, but let's see. Chikonong da lori, chikonong da ilabo, chikonong da tagataka. Oh, you okay? Okay, but you know to make it. So be it. Yeah, you just wait till that day comes. Glory, hallelujah. So, verse 18, we'll read verse 18, 2, 3 in English. And there were voices and thunders and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such as was not since man were upon the earth. So mighty and, and so great. Amen. The people will be shocked. Even now there's an earthquake. There was an earthquake in Mexico. There was an earthquake somewhere in Asia. The people said, oh my God. And the people, all the big building just come crumbling down. But the Bible says, this earthquake, God's wrong because they reject what's behind me here. And in seventh day, there has never been seen and felt since creation, from creation till now. And it's a so in verse 19, 2, 3, in English, And the great city was divided into three parts. The cities of the nation fell. The great Babylon came in remembrance before God to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. Amen. Babylon, the greatest and powerful city in its era, era, in its time, in its heyday, Babylon. But the city of sin. Okay. So one thing that we didn't mention last week, that this great city, Babylon, was divided in three. It reminds me because I, I, I uh, well, for what we have read, the great Babylon, there was one third of Babylon occupied by Christians. And one third of Babylon occupied by idol worshippers. And the last one third was occupied by pagans. Most of you have been hearing pagans, pagans, pagans. One man wrote in the Facebook, where can I see and read about all these pagans? The pagans, listen carefully. The pagans, their festival, 25th of December. Kwa santa may kaichungo kanta na sinagisudo, but ay sudo kino tamus na sang God, kwa lago may kina na Sunday. Not a festival loir na ista, kwa sa may tumunit ko may ista. Yeah, we are going to look to be kani. What we said the Sabbath before, two Sabbath before us, we said. Oi, não tu conhece mais nenhuma bauta na Calau Chaba, que mais nenhuma bauta, o Chizu, que mais nenhuma bauta na Alo Tabu, que me quer lá na Sina Tabu, na Sina Mata na Sina, because it comes in the morning and say hello to us, keep us warm and go to sleep and say goodbye and go to sleep, but your God doesn't come and see you, and that's why three months ago we brought we brought in Revelation, Revelation chapter two, if you remember verse six. Lord Jesus said, I hate. I hate. He hates paganism. Lord Jesus said, I hate. Lord Jesus said, I hate. Once you do everything that he says he hates, your prayer is 
is an abomination to him. Can we just go into Proverbs 28.9 just to prove what I have said, please? Can we see that? Uh, Proverbs, and that is from Psalms. Psalms, then uh, uh, Proverbs. Uh, yeah, Psalms, then Proverbs. If you come across the Ecclesiastes and all, you're way too far in front. Okay, so chapter, I said chapter 28. 28 verse 9. Yeah. And then we'll read verse 13. Verse 9 uh, in English, 2, 3. He that, he that turned away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. And then, uh, the sufficient translation, so English, please, verse 13. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but confesseth and forsake them shall have mercy. Amen. Amen. before we conclude in Revelation 16 we just go to Matthew please commandment keepers we go into Matthew chapter 7 please I've lost that piece of, uh, okay. Now it fell out and I found it and I try to untangle it so that I can join the commandment keepers in reading. Where was this that came from? Okay. Okay, in Matthew 7, verse 21, please, let's read that. 21 and we'll hear the Fijian. 22, we'll hear the Fijian translation. And 23 and we'll hear the Fijian translation. 2, 3. Not everyone saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he but that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. In heaven. Now. And a second is the rook in a matri to Walla Malangi, where Kidding as Sakavia, Turanga, Turanga, Coquenga, Sakavana Lomi Tamangu, Satiko Melo Malay. Thank you. When we're reading this, bear in mind the false prophets we have just read in um, Revelation 16, um, 14. Okay, verse 22, please. Two, three. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? Erna leobunga ena kavia ena singa koya. Kemuni naturanga, naturanga. Kemami asenga lini wawubuli ena adhamuni, kawaka sivir na tevoro ena adhamuni, and men in the Ramana, we read in Revelation 16, 14. So we listen carefully to verse 23 in English, and we'll hear the Fijian translation. 2 3. And then we'll have prophets unto them. I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that worketh iniquity. Ia kau nunggu tu kuna bira, ausah sengsar nikelai kimundu, 
do logo tani vira o que mundo usando o kita ka na igual a balada. Amen. I just want to say something here, and it's from Lord Jesus too. When the disciples said to him in Matthew two, uh, we just uh, I'll just say it. He said, Why are you Why are you telling us about the mystery of the kingdom, and you don't tell those people? You don't tell those people. Lord Jesus said, It's not given to them to know. It's only given to you. Why? Because when he said, "If you love me, keep my commandments," only the commandments, the doer of the commandments, the Decalogue, and those who worship on Sabbath and Sabbath day, the intelligence, the wisdom, and the mystery of the kingdom is given to them, not even given to the head of churches. No, Seventy Solibera. Why? Because in John fifteen fourteen, Kakwaya, you are my friends. If you do. Whatever I tell you to do, I commanded you to do. He, we are his friends, and that's why he blessed the wisdom, the intelligence, and of course the mystery of the kingdom. And after that, man, that man, they don't like to laugh at me. They don't like to laugh at me. Ni Jerusalem, ipo we na matapuy kita na sabi. Do they come or not? See, talia, go ring ana duka. Kudi tuwa sa umana taraya. But sa dawa tana sa umay sa ganin tuwa ibi ang garong. Glory, hallelujah. Let's move on. So we'll have to conclude. With um, with revelation, but we still have to hear about the handsome, the handsome man who will come on the white horse. But let's hear, let's hear Revelation 16. Okay, verse 20. This is very interesting. Verse 20 in English. We have still have 21 to read, and we'll hear the Fijian translation. 20, 2, 3. And if I fled away, and the mountains were not found. Thank you. Asan rotania ni nabi yano ano kisinga? Yena be uli ni bunu asa singa ni kuli. Amen. Verse 21. And there, and there fell upon men a great hail out of heaven, every stone about the weight of a talent, and men blasphemy God because of the plague of the hail, for the plague thereof was exceeding great. Asan utiki irna tamata na uza zewa terlebu melo malangi. Aku nak pergi entuh natalin ni. Arsa bos apa kata saya tak nak keluar kuir natamata. Enak buku ni mati dah ni udah dibata. Ni sakali besar nak mati dah ungu. Amen. Just to think about it. When God allows time now for His anointed people, like the members of the ministry here, to share this truth and the worship on Sabbath day. We said Malachi 3:16. Whenever you share to a person, heaven is recording. When the time comes, the seven angels from chapter 15, Revelation, and chapter 16, we have just heard about it. The hail to conclude there. The hail, 50 and a half pounds. What can someone talk about two hundred twenty? Guy, guy, lah, kau mai mai kau entu anan rau. Fifty pounds each, fifty and a half pounds. Ada tu mereka lo. It'll roll over you, but you'll not die. Ada people kau rau tak kilemu. And I was doing my Bible study. At home, I saw that that death has been taken away. Na kalong de songo tana mate, me kunin duay mate. Ni sa gigiri ko na matu, wangke sa gigiri ko na bukawanda. What we said the other Sabbath last year, ni sa ongke soi ko. Matay mandangan ni ge sa na isaw na mutalay nre nre ke. Gay no musi ni may do ba na no na si katamu. Matay mandangan ni kagayali na nro ni ulumu. Why do you still have your beauty there with you? Appreciate it. But that beauty will remain in you till it comes back in His Father's glory when you obey this and come and worship, and then He will minus your ears, your ears. Na ears ni no mo yabaki, but to na kaya yabaki tolis ang buro tale mo ray ray binaka menrosota. Bintale o kwa sa dapat ko bangko sa dapat ko bangko ni ko sa talay ro rawa. Okay, nak ayam bukan tu donut tak? Iko nak ayam bukan kita lihat semua lagi. It's biblical. It's biblical. More rare ni nak nak kami serau menerusat. That's all the bonus, extra bonus to the people that obey His commandments. Glory, Hallelujah. Tuh apa ini nak cikuk kita? But in back in Egypt, it was hail mingled with fire, and of course I was reading in Bible study with blood. Concentrated blood, it come with it. What a sight! What a sight! This is dunro na kalole mo. Glory, hallelujah. We are concluding here. We'll go on to the man on the white horse.
Okay, so lovely, so lovely. You prepare to hear it. We just do some fast forwarding. Fast forwarding, fast forwarding. So we come to it. So turn to Revelation 19. Revelation 19. Why are they instigating all this law and all this thing? Because they are jealous of your loyalty to Lord God Almighty, to the Lord God, the Creator, the Conqueror of Calvary, Judge Designate. Okay, so we'll turn to verse 19, uh, chapter 19, verse 11. In English, from verse, remember this, 11, 12, 13, 14. And... Uh, 15. Okay. Before that, mark that. Mark that. I forgot something. We'll go into Revelation. Just a few pages back. A few pages back, please. Revelation chapter 1. Revelation chapter 1. Can we just read that and we'll go to verse 19. Okay. Chapter 1, verse 14 and 15 in English and Fijian 2 3. His head and his hair were white like wool. As white, white as snow, snow and his, his eyes were as a flame of fire, 15, and, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they were burnt in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. This is about the Son of Man, Lord Jesus, that's found in verse 13. <laughs> Yenavana sabakana parasa makumaku waliliwa. Mebakani sabaka ringi enakuru. Asavakana wandungu niwai ebunga nandomona. Emeni, that's him. He's going to come and defend us. Ertuna the kamana sande longo kunito wali wali kunito the mo. Sabaka rotu alomalangi with billions of archangels. Merna lakumai. Okay, now, Revelation 19, we'll hear in English, verse 11, 2 3. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true in righteousness. He doeth judge and make war. Io kwa raidi lo malagi ni sando la tu, karaidi sando na osi bula bula o kwa sabo ndo kina sabo kutoka i kundundunu kandina asalewa ba kundundunu kuko yaka kita kana iwalu. Amen. Verse twelve. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. Amatana evoka na eme minimbuka, satoka eno luna na isala boka turanga ibunga, asabola inazana iye sasenga na tamata ekila okoya ndundonga. Emeni 13, and he was clothed with a vesture deep in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. Asavoka isulu ena isulu sakuri takiki na nandra. Asavoka toka ena zana na vosa ni kalu. Emeni fourteen and the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. Yekuira na matayi wa lumai loma langi er samuri koya ni rsabondo ena biyose bula bula ar savoka isulu ena linen ni matayi la lai e bula bula kasabasawa. And many, 15, 2, 3. And out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treated the white breath of the business and wrath of Almighty God. Asa andarama ina ngusuna, endo na isele wa ungata, meaviti irikina na bimata ni tuko koya, ye enelawa ira ena ititoko kaukamea, Asa sika raka kukoya na ikeli ni waini ni zumbru wanga wanga ni kalu uka uka uwa. Amen. Can we read 16 please? In English and in Fijian. And he had on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lords of Lords. Amen. Ia nada na sabole en nona isulu kena sanga na talenga a non ratui na tui kena non raturanga na turang. That's him. So koya. No one is greater than him, no one is mightier than him, no one is higher than him. And that is our Lord and our God. You know, he's sitting in his white throne and he's watching the people instigating how the children of God to be punished. Those who are loyal to him, those who love him, those who give their heart, their soul, and their mind to him. You think he's just going to sit back and doesn't react? No way! 
say, not our God. And Allah kumayokoya and billions of archangels. And the people who are instigating all this to attack the children of God. And they realize they have been deceived because they fighting a losing battle. Glory, hallelujah. Okay, just we are concluding here. Revelation 20. Can we all read verse 10, 2, 3 in English and Fiji 2, 3. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. Isambiu na tevoro sa temaki ira kinanranu buko wanga. Sawaka sulifure sati wukina na manu manu kena profita baga ilasu ia erto na baga rota ki ena singa kena mungi kasega ni mundu. Amen. 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 Can we read 14 in English and Fijian 14 and 15? Okay, two, three. And the death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Yo komate ke imbulu talanga e rausambi uroro ki nanrano buko wanga. Sai koengo ne karo ni mati. Iyo nanrano buko wanga. Amen. 15, two, three. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Yes, I'm Bukin and Rano Bukawanga, Kukoyando, Sassing Nibola, and I Wola Nibola. Was a Sangan Nibola and Nibola and Nibola Nibola, but the Sangan is in Gomango, it took only one, a Singapore. Yes, Saturday, none on a Singapore. And what I need to rub on both take it, get to love like a coir one of the Mirita and Rano Bukawanga. Yoira, those who have contrite hearts and accept the commandments and come and worship on Sabbath day. me to do because I love him and this is what will happen to them can we all say Revelation 22 14 2 3 yes. blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city to conclude we'll uh, conclude here so uh, verse 16 in Fiji and in English 2 3 I Jesus have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright morning star oyao kuchisu kau satalana nungu angilusi mebaka takila na wikango wikimundu and wei songo songo leo nilutu Oya una kena wu kena kawa ni tevita kena kala kalo iwola singa eserotu. Amen. The reward ni kusata leira roike doesn't cost you anything. Zingo mango olo tu na na singa ta. City made of pure gold na kena ngau ni sala made of topaz, diamond and sapphire. I was thinking about it when I was reading it again. All those precious stones that we Oh, look at her, she's wearing sapphire. Look at, look at her, she's wearing diamond. Oh, he's wearing diamond. All the things that we think so highly about in this life, it becomes your footstool in the new kingdom. Yeah. You, you think of that. All that he had prepared for you, the tree of life. No, you can pick the whole tree because that is your right. You are the princess or you are the prince. May God bless you. Ito Savovirinaka across the globe. We are concluding the first impartation and preaching and teaching uh, from the commandment keepers to everyone around the globe, across the globe. And uh, we usually thank the White Throne for the message. We thank the White Throne for the intelligence and the wisdom, the mystery of the kingdom that's given to us. And of course, not forgetting the bigger, the bigger ministry and the churches, nearly 600, uh, 600 uh, of them in total, uh, the SDA, the Baptist, and all that. We are just small ministry, but we are so thankful because we are handpicked by God to be his vessel. And um, we all want that. 
Okay, may God bless you and your family. Uh, thank you, Mr. Engineer, for supervising everything. The commandment keepers is so great today, maybe because it's the first Sabbath of 2018. Thank you for reading and thank you for supporting me and that enable all of us to deliver what we have delivered uh, efficiently, properly, and uh, wonderfully. We'll see each other again next Sabbath. Don't be wrong with them. And a single time, we're going to call on the ticket in Polo Polo Vina. Dinamo, Satora, Tora Saratik. Amen. Napoleon.